Let's head down to Newport Beach. The Newport Harbor Sailors were on the road at Yorba Linda. They spotted the Mustangs a 19-0 lead heading into the fourth. Newport Harbor scores 14 unanswered in the fourth, but the Mustangs hang on to win 26-14. Reaction to that game. We got to call that game, so we watched the whole thing start to finish. What did you think, Howard? Well, it was just a classic case of too little, too late. Newport Harbor felt a little sloppy early. They were trying to get their footing from special teams to offense to defense. They just couldn't really get their bearings. It took a little while, but once stuff started to click, it looked really good. Now, it wasn't all bad early. There were glimpses. You know, Duke Starnes, he had some great looks at it, had some tough catches in the first half. Cashton Hingem, uh, Nick Kim kept going Cashton Hingem's way, but the defense of Yorba Linda, they, they were uh, bossing a safety over to his side of the field, changing up from press to soft coverage, just trying to make it difficult. Um, I think Newport Harbor didn't play their best game, but the real team, who they are, is the team we saw in the fourth quarter. Um, it's a senior group in terms of Nick Kim leading the way. He'll be comfortable next week, and they'll have confidence from how they ended the game, and they'll be fine for the rest of the season, I believe. Yeah, that's a team. We talked to Coach Lofthouse earlier today. He's talking about we got to get him to play more than just one quarter of football, but I believe, as you said, that team in the fourth is the real Newport Harbor Sailors team. They'll be at home against Marina on Thursday. I'm excited to see how they progress from that loss to Yorba Linda.